boom, boom. Yeah. And of course, that's off Seth Rollins and Ring. Yes. And he's in the middle of the ring. He plays his theme song, and it kept saying "Burn it down," as a retort for Dean Ambrose's his uh, ring entrance. And then Seth Rollins staying in the ring. He's saying he wants to burn it down, and then he calls out Baron Corbin. And as Baron Corbin's in there, he tells Baron Corbin to shut up and listen, and tells Baron Corbin to his face that he's a sucky. GM manager, he ain't doing a good job, and on behalf of all the staff and all the other wrestlers, he wants to fight him. Huh? And then he says, I don't have to wait for TLC, uh, TLC for my match with Dean, I want to do it right now. And then Corbin's doing the whole blah blah blah, I'm gonna win against uh, Braun Strowman by, def uh, by forfeit. And he goes, and I don't need to do no TLC with you. And then Seth Rollins calls him a coward like 18 times. And then Baron Corbin's like, you know what? You get your match. So that sets up for our main event. Uh, first match of the night. Rude and Gable versus AOP and Jake Maverick in a two-on-three handicap match for the Raw Tag Team titles. Yay! Yeah. That was actually a good match. And Rude and Gable both came out in matching robes. Yeah, that was cool. They both had robes. Not just robes, but in t matching tidy whities Um, of course, Rude and Gable are the new glorious yes. tag team champions. They pinned Drake Maverick. Well, let's see. The two big, uh, the two AOP guys... Do the um the one move to Bobby Roode and then what was it Drake? He got all like what? He uh got overconfident and tagged himself in and as he's taunting the Bobby Roode thing and he pins, Bobby t uh, turns the pin around and reverse pins on Drake, which cost them the title. Yeah. So I'm kind of happy actually. So he got his revenge. Team Glorious. And then the next match was... Drew McIntyre versus Dolph Ziggler. The rematch for last week. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. No Finn Balor to help out Dolph. Nope. And it actually was a pretty good match. Dolph gave him a run for his money, but in the end, McIntyre won. And then, of course, after the match, you know what happened. Drew McIntyre attacking him. Of Ziggler course. again. Ziggy Wiggy. And before Glorious was backstage, also forgot that they were shocked that they won. Well, that was afterwards. But, um, then there was the next match, let's see. Which is Bailey and Sasha. There's just Sa Alicia, Alicia Fox and... and... No, it's Bailey with Sasha versus Alicia Fox with Mahal. With Mahal and Alicia, yeah. Well, here's... Magic the Carpet Ride. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually a good match. And Bailey was winning till one of the Sing brothers came in. And after that, uh, Apollo Crews, Bailey's um, Mix Max challenge partner, shows up and helps, so helps with the help of Sasha Banks, actually attacks Mahal and his little min and his minions. And the highlight of the match was Sasha tells Apollo Crews to pick her up and toss her at all three of them. That was, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. And then a belly to belly on Alicia Fox in one. Can't, you can't wait to watch that match tomorrow. And that, yeah, because it's um, the two final matches. Gonna be watched. And there was an interview with Dean Ambrose, but that was just, and eh, talking about Seth Rollins, but that's and all. And then showing the promo for their TLC match. And Dean just... After they do the promo, he's just standing there, looking all crazy-like, and then just walks away. And then, um, there was a thing with Natty and Ruby Riot. Yeah. Natty's saying that she's gonna win her ma uh, her tables match, and she's doing it for her dad, and then Ruby Riot pops in with some kind of present, and it's a table with a Jim Neinhart, like, 
poster sticker on it. Yeah. And then, next match you got Elias. Death of the Lions. First, Annoying Leo Rush. Shrimp. And, and the referee was Heath Slater. And he wasn't really happy. He's like, this is not what I want. I don't want to be a ref. He's embarrassed. And plus, he has to do his job. He's got and kids. Of course, um, Leo Rush beat Elias because, let's see, um, Bobby, well, let's see, Leo took, gave the guitar to Bobby and hit him. And then, of course, Heath Slater was going to call the bell, and Bobby's like, eh, 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 no, pin. So, yeah. And for TLC, there's going to be a ladder match with a guitar hanging on top, and whoever grabs that guitar gets used in the, in the match. Which I think is kind of like, they should change it. Instead of it being a guitar hanging it for the lighter match, it should be Leo Rush. And whoever unhooks Leo Rush can use him as a weapon. And I want to see Elias use Leo Rush as a weapon against Apollo. Wouldn't that be fun to see him chucking at him? Yeah. yeah. And then, then there was a backstage thing, Slater saying he's going home. Bad Corbin said, no, 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 you have another match. And I called it. And that he did good as a ref, and he just looks too upset. He doesn't even want to do this anymore. And then they had this Nia and Rhonda thing. It was supposed to be... They're talking. Talking and talking. Rhonda and LTK Mal Shane. I didn't come to talk. I came to fight. And then, and then Tamina and Nia Jax just roll out of the ring. Yeah. And then someone helps Rhonda Rousey. And Boom comes out. Which makes the next match, Justin. Ember Moon versus Tamina. Yep. And Moon wins. Enough yep. said. With her top rope move. Yep. I like Ember Moon. Yeah, she's really cool. So. Now, the for the main event. event. Missy. Is Baron Corbin versus <laughs> Burn It Down Seth Rollins. Yep. With Sl Heath Slater as the referee. Yep. And it's mm -hmm. a TLC match for the Intercontinental title. And what do you expect? First, right off the bat, Seth Rollins goes after the chair. Yeah. That match was really good. I was like, Intense. oh. Intense. Of course, Barry Corbin tried to cheat. Like he always does. Yeah. But luckily, Seth, I knew Seth was going to win because it's going to be, they want to see that Seth first Dean. So. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Slater came into play during the match. Yeah, close to the end of the match. Seth was going for the title. Slater pushed the ladder, knocking Seth off it. And then he's dragging, going to get Corbin, dragging him, putting him on the ladder. And then Rollins like, no, 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 no. Um, power bombs him through a table. And curb stomps Slater. No, he kicks Slater in the face as Slater's trying to say, yeah, Come on, I got kids. kids. And then Rollins curb stomps Baron Corbin. Yeah. And then he just, with nobody in the ring, just do, climbs do, up do, the do, thing do, and do, just take, unhooks the belt. Yep. Look at his split. And but then, it's funny. It's funny. Rollins, instant, one, two, three, takes the belt off. But watch, TLC, it's going to take five minutes for him just to unhook the belt. Yeah. And then... Dean comes out and just looks from the top, from the top ramp. Just looks at him. Just stares and that's it. Just looks at him. I mean, um, this was a crazy Monday Night Raw, I would say. But here's yeah. the thing. How, how? What do we guess? Either what do you think for the Braun Strowman match? You think Braun? I seen actually... Braun Strowman's elbow. Yeah. It looked really black and blue. So he could he could show up, but he'd be fighting one handed. Or Braun Strowman will pick a partner to represent him. Because honestly, who wants to see Mr. Um corporate idiot in charge? Yeah. He's definitely gonna get these hands though. Yeah, we'll get these 
hand. <laughs> but it says, what are, you, are you excited for TLC this Sunday? What match are you looking forward to seeing? Yeah. Oh. Um, are you just looking forward to Natalia and Ruby Riot? Are you, uh, that Ruby Riot said she's going to put Natty through her the daddy table. Jim Nineheart stuck her on the table. I wonder if they're actually going to actually do it or is it just, just the promo for this? I don't know. Um, is Dean going to beat Seth? I hope he does. Um, there's probably going to be a rematch for the Raw Tag Team titles, probably. Oh, you know it's going to be. Um. Oh, you know what's funny? No Revival versus Lucha House Party. Yeah, that's another thing. Seth Rollins said that was stupid. He's like, what the hell is... What the hell is Lucha House Rules? What in the world is that? Yeah. I don't know. What you were doing a crappy job there, Corbin. You're saying the Raw ratings been going down ever since Baron Corbin was DM. Then again, you see everybody filling the stable, the uh, the arenas with for Raw. Yeah. You know what's kind of funny, which kind of probably went the ratings down. The new Godzilla trailer. Oh. Is like for the Godzilla? Well, here's the thing. What did you say? Did we say that the Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah kind of would be if they were wrestlers? You said the Godzilla would be Braun Strowman. <laughs> and he looks as big and beefy as Strowman. Uh, King Ghidorah would be... The New, <laughs> the new Day? day. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. The main body would be Big E, and he'd be the middle head. And then Kofi and Xavier Woods would be the other two heads. Moths are probably like Charlotte or something. <coughs> that fits. Now I just need Rodian. Nigel. <laughs> Actually, that kind of does fit. Because <laughs> every time Rodian fla flaps his wing around the cities, everything is nothing but a path of destruction. And they didn't say Nia Jax was 300 Didn't she say she was 300 yeah, pounds? That's what you th said, Missy. That's what... No, that's what Nia Jax said on yep, the promo. She, 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 was, uh, she was talking. I thought, I thought. She's a 300 pound, we, six foot Samoan. I thought she was <coughs> in the 200s. Because yeah. then you, you, said she she's, was, you said she was in her 200 pound. Unless 200. she gained some weight. She said she was a three. Um, unless she gained foot, some weight. Six foot, 300 pound Samoa woman. That Ronda Rousey is not going to beat her. Nope. And she keeps doing the whole, I'm going to break her face because Frankie Lynch. Yeah. Oh, how many? How long are they gonna ride that coat face? I'm Nia Jax, the face breaker. I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. Are they gonna try? No. Are they making Nia Jax big show? I don't know. I'm gonna what? I'm gonna knock out, punch every one of you bitches. Mm. So, like I said, why are you? Excited? No, no, no. They can't make her. They can't make make Nia Jax the big show. They did not do the Eddie Guerrero Big Show thing. <laughs> In order for her to, to do it, since Sasha Banks want, likes to idolize Eddie Guerrero, she has to give Nia Jax a uh, laxative laced taco and then have that bathroom brawl thing. <sighs> oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you know it. That makes you cringe. That makes you cringe. So are you excited for TLC this Sunday? I am. Yeah. I'm excited to see who's going You didn't going. know it was going to be Sunday. You thought it was going to be next week. No, I thought... I knew it was a Sunday. No, you you had a feeling it was going to be a Sunday. Um... Well, let's see what's going to happen tomorrow see. for SmackDown. Yep. So, let us know what you thought of Raw, and if you're excited for DLC, and... How much you like tonight. And, yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.